what is good my people what is good youtube hey look if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and you know if you're returning welcome back all right so in today i'm bringing you a video that i've wanted to do since i was a kid you know what i'm saying now i'm able to do it and i'm bringing that to you and we are talking about the gaming setup inside of a closet hey look we're gonna get right into it So here I'm in the early stages of the man cave, the hangout, the entertainment center, and I'm just walking through making a plan for the things that I want to do, the things that I need to do. The closet here is the main focus. I've already hung up some memorabilia and I've already ordered some things like the Govi LED light strips and my current setup is on the floor and I do have a plan to put up a floating console. The previous owners had a TV bracket that was set up in the corner. I did not like it and it left damage to the wall, so I have to fix that. This is the GoV Dreamview LED light strips for the backlighting of my TV. These are the accessories that they come with. Power adapter, the camera, um, and the roll of LED light strips also with the orange pads to configurate the lights. So the foam pads does come with its own adhesive. I chose to use electrical tape to put on the back of them instead just to be safer because I know I can remove them from my TV screen safely. Had an items list so i ran the home depot grabbed those items i've seen some gaming setups before so i know what i had envisioned and we're kind of winging it and we're just going to do the best that we can are these the perfect items for the project i had no idea but we're going to get it done here i have a 12 by 8 foot treated piece of wood i think i'm just going to paint it white actually but yeah Oh, shit. This is a pocket hole jig. I'm gonna try to remember to pop up some prices here on the screen so you guys know like how much these things were. Uh, for the, I think it's like, so you can drill like three or four holes and it holds a piece of wood. It was like $120 and I wasn't feeling that. Some screws. This is a hole saw jig, it's a one and three fourths. I wanted the two inch, but I think this is going to be big enough. It's so for cable management, drill a hole, you'll see that. These are the tools that I already had, like the cordless saw, the drill, and the stud finder. Also a leveler, which is very important in this process. About it right now. The rest of it is honestly just gonna be like measuring some things and cutting. I already got the, the space that I'm working with measured out and we will make a few cuts it won't be a lot and just find the studs and uh making sure it's secure and things like that so just stay tuned and let's continue with this video now never done this before so mistakes probably gonna happen we're here to fuck shit up It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. <laughs> First cut, you know, probably won't edit it out. Mistakes. Yeah. And it's happened. How do you think the kids got here? At this point, I'm really questioning my capability of cutting these pieces straight without chipping them with the saw. But I'm giving myself a little pep talk here, saying, "Get it right. We got this." protective glasses all right so before the sun goes down i did go grab our sander just to make it smooth make sure it's flush against the wall make it smooth make it flush make it fit Now 
this was the setup that I was dealing with. The cable management was terrible. The cables were everywhere. The clunky Xfinity box that I needed to upgrade. And my consoles were just sitting here on top of the dresser. Now, we knew this had to be fixed. I already had a plan of attack and that's what we're working on, right? Now, this setup is similar to setups that I've had in the past. I've always played on a bigger screen TV and my setups have always looked like that. But we are in a new space and we want to make it a little bit different to our liking. And I've not always had the luxury of doing so. The closet has already been prepped. It has been cleaned out. I've taken out the rods and stuff um, because it was a closet before made for clothes and things like that. But here I've brought up the top piece and it's sitting on top of the PlayStation 5 box just so I can make sure that it's going to fit in the space it is cut to size and that is before I even get to finding the studs and screwing in the framing for the floating desk the frame is together I cut the one by two inch MDF pieces to size I drilled pocket holes into the left and right side that connects to the back piece and the closet had quite a few studs so it is very secure it is level which now I can move in the top piece here it is painted it is dry it fits perfectly so what I wanted was to have enough leg room and room enough for like a gaming chair to slide into the closet space and me be able to still close the closet doors and shut away the gaming uh, setup if I wanted to so I want to go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room which is going to be that coax connection that you see there it gave me a lot of trouble because I wanted to switch that out for an outlet. It didn't go as planned. I'm not an electrician, so I just patched that up and we're just going to forget about it now. And hopefully in the future, I can get an electrician in and we can put in a power outlet there. And that is going to be a tremendous help. Of course, I had to make some orders on Amazon. We got another pack of the Govi LED light strips. I went with the 16.4 feet smart voice control LED light strips. Works with Alexa and Google Assistant. And in my opinion, no gaming setup is complete without some good vibrant LED light strips. And Govi is just a go-to for me. We ordered some um, acoustic panels and then just like a PlayStation sign for the core. Like I said we received some packages and I'm just trying to figure figure out the layout of of some things. So, well we received one package. I'm still waiting on my new monitor. We did impulsively buy a new monitor. We're going to try to figure out the best way to put those on layout wise and then I will update you guys again. That's where we're at right now. Yeah. What are you helping dad do? Grab all the tools and stuff like that. Yeah, and the remotes and press buttons. You know, what is a one year old supposed to do, right? That's what they're supposed to do. We're gonna get back to the setup. I had to make a couple trips to Home Depot, several. You forget stuff or you need more things like nails, wood glue, wood or MDF uh, boards, things like that. So yeah, but all right, we're gonna get back to, well, I'm gonna get back to it. He's about to take a nap so I can finish up some things. The last piece of the puzzle has come in for the closet. So we're gonna set this up. So we have the monitor up front. Okay, pretty clean. And that is the back of it. We'll get this put up. And here we went with the Bear Ultra. Um, scuff defense just in case door will finish and this one is called the starless night We're gonna go ahead and finish that up I wanted to go with that dark movie theater vibe That's why I chose this dark blue the starless night I was worried about how the colors would pop off on the dark background, but it looks great I have the acoustic panels up we are in the last stages of setting it up. Just putting things where I want them to be and getting the cable management right. So the reveal is almost here. Yo, you trying to see the setup? All right, well, come on.
setup is finished and I am very happy with it. And that was my goal was that at the end of it, I just wanted to be comfortable. I wanted to be happy with what I did with the closet space and the space that I had. I'm very minimalistic. I went with an, a treated piece of wood. It was a uh, 12 inch by eight foot treated piece of wood. And the I put this like edge piece on and this was an MDF. And if I could do it all over again, honestly, I probably would start off with an MDF because sanding it and painting it is just a, just an extra step that I really didn't have to take, but it was honestly a cheaper step. The hardest part about this project was making sure the floating desk was secure into the stud. Walls aren't always straight, so just to get that in there, it was a tight fit, but it, it actually fit pretty perfectly. The acoustic panels, they actually weren't very hard to set up on the wall. They came with their own adhesive. You just pulled it off, stuck it. I didn't really um, follow a picture or anything like that. So that was that was pretty easy. The hardest part was the corner pieces of the acoustic panels. One aesthetic feature that I really wanted was the pegboards. The pegboards, I was gonna go with white pegboards, but I needed a, that white and black type pop. Controllers, headsets, whatever you wanna put, I went with industrial style um, like pegboard accessory hooks. Uh, I actually like them. They are a little bit larger than I expected. I have a black pegboard also at the bottom. But here we have the beautiful PlayStation 5 console. This is a console setup. In the future, I do wanna get a PC setup. Moving on to the monitor. Like I said, I impulsively bought the monitor. I've never owned a monitor before. I've heard just playing on a closer field of view, which makes sense, is a better gameplay experience. I went with the the 27 inch LG Ultra Gear, a PlayStation symbol that lights up, it's pretty dope. I have my iHome. Hey, don't worry about that though. Don't, <laughs> don't worry about how old the iHome is. Listen, the iHome came in clutch because this monitor doesn't come with speakers. So I, all I did was hook an aux um, up to, from the computer to the iHome and the sound is perfect honestly so but i can charge my watch you know i get off the game at nighttime plug in my watch throw my phone on there hey man we good to go right now up here i just have my collection my baseball books these are the baseball books that i've collected over the years um i actually found a place for them so i think they look good up there some baseballs i got this from my grandfather little mlb players my baseball glove PlayStation 4 controllers, camera, audio gear, things like that, and some extra books just for the aesthetic, you know what I'm saying? I know some people might wonder about cable management, so what I did was I drilled three holes, and then boom, cable management, and then back here in the corner, cable management. So I have three holes, left, center, and over here on the right side. Overall, I'm very happy how it turned out. It was harder than I thought, but at the end of the day, I'm very happy with it. It's functional, it's minimalistic. I'm eventually gonna do a little bit more with it, just add some more lights, maybe a little bit more aesthetic things dual monitor setup possibly in the future, PC setup, I don't know. So stay tuned for that. And when I'm done with everything, you know, well, not a big closet. So I kept this budget under $300 for the setup. That's not including the monitor or the PlayStation 5, man. This is just like a PlayStation 5 setup simple lighting what i have here inside of the closet is a small setup to where you know after a long work day being a dad you know what i'm saying i can come decompress relax play the game with the boys or binge watch game of thrones ozark house of dragons which i did just finish so season two about to be crazy man but anyway Hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share it if you feel like it. You know what I'm saying? This is my gaming setup.
I don't know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. No, don't do it. Do it. Not a good stop. Kill confirmed. Contact! Moving secure to kill. UAV standing by. Confirm one. Requesting recon. Fly up. Gay blouses. This is complete.